We are back with more Desperate Housewives. All right, guys. Right now, we're going to... We got the gift card from... Uh, what's her face? <laughs> Can't think of her name right now. Lynette. We got the gift card from Lynette. And the husband set up the, um, I think with uh, a psychologist appointment. I don't know. Therapy for us. So oh, I guess we have to go do therapy because someone decided it's a good idea. Who does that? I mean, sometimes it is a good idea. And, you know, considering we did, like, she did just sleep with, like, two st strangers in the last, like, two hours of the game. So, hmm. Maybe therapy would do some good. Alright. <gasps> Wait, the husband's over here with that girl. Oh shit. She's got big boobs. Wait, why is she coming up to me and not the husband? He ran out of there. He's like, nope, nope, I'm out of here. Oh my god. That man, is he a good friend of yours? Him? No. He's probably married or something. All the good ones are. Yes, he is married to me. Oh my god. She's not going to reply? Alright. I don't believe we've met before. What's your name? No, we gotta go crazy bitch mode. I mean, the game, it's like, it's desperate housewives. We gotta, like, go for this. Tell me, who the hell are you? My name is Jacqueline, but most people call me Jackie. Okay then, Jacqueline, what exactly were you doing back there with my husband? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. His shirt was a bit ruffled and I was helping him out. That's it. Since you clearly didn't get into the medical profession based upon your intellect, what exactly do you do here, Jacqueline? I'm the office manager. I maintain the schedules of all the doctors, which means I'm something between their mother and their wife. <gasps> Second wife. Sorry. More like the office slut. It's strange. He never mentioned a wife. <gasps> I imagine it's pretty easy to block out the word wife when you're throwing yourself at a married man, and I bet you've had a lot of practice. Oh. <laughs> Do yourself a favor and keep your hands and eyes to yourself, Jacqueline. Fuck you. What is the artwork in here? Mm-hmm. Vagina flowers, as I expected. Look at him. Slapper. Oh my god. Ouch! Was that slap justified? You, your kind deserves to be slapped. You're lucky I'm in a good mood today. <laughs> All right, now that should teach her not to mess with our man. Hug, kiss, slap. Let's slap him too. Well, we gotta go to this damn appointment too. This bitch. What the hell was that for? I've been wanting to slap you, so I did. I liked it, too. So you might want to brace yourself for more. I'm putting my foot down. If you slap me again, I'll do something about it. Oh, really? What the hell was that for? <laughs> it just repeats it. All right. I'm putting my... Yeah, you're putting your foot down. Fuck you. All right, now it's a therapy. No. <laughs> <laughs> this game's great. You can just be the horrible person you've always... I haven't always wanted to be <laughs> someone like this who goes around slapping people. But it's fun in video game land. Are you uh, my therapist? Because this is pointing me in a different direction. Let me make sure before I talk to you. You might be someone creepy. Um, these aren't my goals. All right, let's see. Check. Oh, visit the therapist. <gasps> That's you. Hello. Can I seduce you? May I help you? Oh, you can help me. <laughs> yes, I am. And it's a pleasure to meet you. 
Please take a seat. So your husband mentioned that you might be uh, able to use a little direction. I didn't Is take a seat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna stand through this? Alright. Well, it probably wouldn't hurt for me to have someone to talk to. He's always trying to fix me. I don't really know why I'm even here. Yeah. In that case, how about we just chat a little? Get to know each other. I... So, what brings you and your family to Fairview? We needed a place to start fresh again. The city can put a lot of pressure on you. Well, I think you and your husband are going to just love it here. Oh, yeah, let me tell Speaking you. Speaking of your husband, home. how did you two meet? It's a little embarrassing because I can't exactly remember. Women are always supposed to remember every detail, but that time of my life is ha so hazy. Um, I could tell you the tale my husband... Oh, I like this one. I mean, I could tell you the tale my husband always tells about the day we first met. You don't remember? All right, my husband told me that I had an awful accident while jogging on the beach. I must have suffered some serious trauma since I can't remember any of it. All right, bad jogging. All right, so it's all about a jogging accident. All right, my memory is like a... Sl no, I don't... I want to do this one. Oh, how long ago was this accident? About 18 or 19 years ago. It's really embarrassing, but the year after the accident is pretty foggy, too. Right before I got pregnant with our son. Yeah. Well, I guess it is fortunate that you came in. I might be able to help you with rediscovering your past. Oh, shit. Are you... If you would like, we can definitely try to explore your past and try to piece together some of the memories in future sessions. Oh, my God. But you don't have to decide that now. So tell me about the two of you meeting. What has your husband told you? <laughs> Between you and me, he told me that we met in a park, but I'm not so sure about that. Did he tell you how you met? Well, that's just it. He claims he saw me in the park during his weekend chess matches. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, what? He made, we made eye contact as he was playing chess. Slanty face. <laughs> oh, I guess he gave up chess right after we met because he barely remembers how to play anymore. Don't you think that's odd? Many people have hobbies that they are not particularly good at. He's probably totally a nut job. It's the activity, stimulation, and sometimes socialization they're drawn to more often than not. Or he's crazy. I married a crazy man who, like, took my memory. Do you have any hobbies that you enjoy but could be better at? Um, I've been known to burn toast. <laughs> You could call me a jack of all trades, but master of none. That would be pretty much describe a bit, bit. No, I'm pretty much great at everything I if do. If you really want to get better at something, you have to invest the time, energy, and determination to get better. Uh, what did I just tell you? I'm already the best, thanks. Otherwise, the activity is just a distraction and not a hobby. Make sure you differentiate the two. <sighs> oh, my look, I'm really sorry to rush, but I do have an appointment shortly. I'll call you in a few days to set up a formal appointment. Until then. Um, yeah. Okay, thanks. <laughs> what? Wait, are, do we have to... Okay, we went to the therapist. We go talk to the husband now? Checking up? Make sure you... Oh, okay, yeah, we do. Well, I already paid him a visit. Now I gotta tell him I went to talk to the therapist, even though he should know, since I'm like... Up in this joint, making it my, uh, <laughs> mine. Slapping people. Wait, can I slap him? Hold up. We didn't even try. Oh, uh, we can only talk to him? What kind of bull is that? Keeping things professional. Alright, what's up? Hey. Hey, baby. How's your day coming along? Um, as good as could be expected. That's good. Uh, so that woman I was talking to, she works here? Oh, that's just Jackie. She's a character. It's nice that you stopped by. Forces me to take a break from the hectic schedule I'm on over here. Yeah, it's probably a good thing that I stopped in. It's always nice to see you, honey. I have to get back to work now. I'll, I'll give you a call if I run late. Um, I believe these files belong to you. Oh, hey. Thanks for bringing these to me. Oh, there was files in the mailbox. Did we look at those? I, I think I just gave them to uh, gave those to him, so I don't think we can anymore. They were just files. It's no problem, Maul. I was on my way out here. You just don't go... Oh, just don't go making a habit out of this, okay? I'm your wife, not your errand, girl. Well, I'm sorry. If I'd known Paul was <laughs> finished, I would have picked them up myself. 
So what was so important that Paul needed access to this huge stack of documents? Oh, it's nothing that you need to concern yourself with. Just a few medical journals that I had lying around the house. Oh, they were yours? He was curious about some new studies regarding cerebral capacitance. That's strange. I wondered why he'd be interested in reading something like that. I cannot speak right now. Did you just hear me? Beats me. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I just can't. I just want to slap people. So what I, ooh, what is this? A prescription? Am I just going to pick up some prescription? Oh, shit. What's this for? Oh, let's see. What is it for? Uh, oh, this is just the actual pad to write prescriptions. Nice. Boop, boop, boop. Found my new hobby, Mr. Therapy Man. I'm gonna sell drugs. No one can stop me. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Let's go shopping. You got that gift card? Mmm, okay, let's see. Need something revealing. Oh no. Can we really choose this? Oh, we need new shoes though. We do need new shoes. That's just, this'll work. No, I don't like those. Um, hmm. Uh, no. All right. Okay. Oh no. Wait, I don't want to enter the store. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> we are going to own once we get back home. How do I get... Um, Wait, what is this? Pawn shop? Let's go in here. Free top. What? Uh, okay, that's if you want... Oh, that's if you want to sell things. All right. What, what is going on with this game? No, I do not want this. Oh, it is not broken. Okay, there we go. Just go home before this mall shopping center eats us alive. Maybe I need to close this. This game doesn't actually work on Windows 8, and I'm running it on Windows 8, and it's just messy. It doesn't save. It's, it's pretty rough, so. Did someone just come into that door? Did someone just go into my house? Oh. It's the husband. Okay. Cool. Yeah, see you later. I'm over this. Let's see. Uh, where should we go? Try out our new outfit. Just one. Just, you know. Let's see if we can get a guy. Knock. Because I, I don't. I doubt characters notice outfits, but that would be funny. Oh, yes. Where's your gardener? You're my gardener. Get your own gardener. <laughs> what? What are you talking my about? My wife has a thing for gardeners. And something in my gut tells me she's with him. Oh, yeah, the gardener. If I yeah. find him with Gabrielle, I'm going to chop off his fingers first, then his tongue. Then I'll get around to asking him questions. What about Thanks. your tongue and what it's doing right now? Yes. Hello. Did you need something? Now that you're here, I don't need anything else. Cringe. Yes, Carlos, I need you. Actually, I need you very badly. Yes, that one. So, I what guess. can I do for you? <laughs> I was funny. I was just about to ask you the same thing. Oh, I can think of a couple <laughs> of things. I think the proper question is, what can you do to me? Yeah, that's, that's very the best funny. One. But you should be careful. I might get the wrong idea and think you're not joking. I don't want to be careful, Carlos. I want to be reckless. Oh, Carlos, I'm very serious. I think you have the right idea. You are aware that I'm a happily married man, right? <laughs> I won't mention Gabrielle if you don't mention facial hair. Gabrielle was a married woman, but that didn't stop her and the gardener. Oh, shit. It's perfect. We both have a reason to keep this affair quiet. Then I want to say that one. Yeah. Don't mention her name again. All oh, I want shit. is you. Right now. Oh, I'm sorry, Carlos. I'm sorry, Carlos. I think I just lost my nerve. I can't do this. Wait. I kind of want to, like, 
turn him down. Let's turn him down. If you change Sorry. your mind, you know where you can find me. Oh. It wasn't as good. Let's just seduce again. Hello. Did you and need get some? through this. All right. So what can I do for you? That's very much funny. Like everything. You are aware that I'm happily. Don't mention her name. All right. <laughs> we changed. <laughs> it's black now. <laughs> Uh, bye. Whew. She looks sweet. Boy, that was some awesome erotic action there. <laughs> really? You were really on your game today, Carlos. Even better than last time. I've had better, Carlos. It was pretty good, wasn't it? Awesome. I was going to say awful. I haven't been this unfulfilled in years. Are you kidding me? That was the complete package. I was on fire. More like going down in flames. You have a gift for being completely disconnected and oblivious to my needs. I don't know why I keep doing this with you, Carlos. I almost never enjoy myself. I guess even mundane sex with you is better than with my boring and even more predictable husband. Well, you're no erotic acrobat yourself. I was just trying to be polite by saying I had a good time. <laughs> well, maybe we should work on <laughs> getting better together. Well, I guess that's that. No reason to keep tapping this well. It's gone dry. All right, thank you. Just testing out my new outfit. That would be funny if, like, <laughs> if, like, they could respond to your outfit, because it would just, like, add a whole new layer of shitting all over each other. And by that, I mean, like, completely talking trash and slapping people and seducing their husbands. You know, the usual, the normal, everyday life. <sighs> Is he going to be mad that we didn't cook? Oh my god, is he coming to yell at us? Hey. Hey, hun. How was your poker game? What poker game? I had a nice time. Just don't ask me if I won or lost. Uh. <laughs> it's not whether you win or lose. It's how you play the game. Wait, I got a poker game? Hold on. How much money did you lose? It's my money, so it's none of your I'm business. I'm just glad that you had a nice time. All right, wait. Hold on. Take a load off. Watch TV. What poker game? What are we talking about? Am I crazy and just made up that conversation? I hope not. I hope that's what ends up on YouTube later. So I like definitely know I'm not going nuts. What poker game? I'm making French toast. No, I don't want to make French toast. What? Are... No, I want to make French toast. I do. <sighs> eggs. Ooh, we beat these eggs today. <laughs> you guys, I'm very tired. I'm very tired. I woke up early today. Oh, look at that. I didn't even put all the ingredients I needed. And now beat it. Alright. We good? Wait. Oh. I don't want to wait. I just want to flip it now. Okay. I'm hungry now. Crap. I would eat this. It's like not even real, but it looks so good. I got an A+. Plus. Maybe my son will love me now. Wait, where is he? What the heck? That just what? Huh? Okay, I'm just gonna eat this. I don't know what just happened. That that I thought the sun was there, like the chair came out, but there was no one there, and I don't know. What's that creepy noise? What's, is something going on outside? I wish I could like let's go outside just to see. Wait, what are we doing? No, out here. <laughs> out the front door. It's 10 p.m. Everyone else has gone to sleep. Oh, I guess I'll just uh, go to sleep then. I thought there was like creeping and sneaking. Wait, what's our son doing? What are you doing, kid? Wait, no, 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 no. I'm gonna slow this down. It's going hard to control. Slap. I won't slap him just yet. Hey, hey Mom, did you want to talk to me? 
I did. Um, hey, we. How's my favorite son today? Am I in trouble? No, why? What have you done wrong? I certainly hope not. Is everything all right? I'm okay, I guess. You're not okay. I tell, I'll tell you when you're okay. And you, young man, are definitely not okay. Yeah. Yeah, whatever, Mom. I'll see you later. Goodbye, sweetie. What kind of conversation is this? Wait. Hey, Mom. Did you want to talk to me? I have a question for you. Oh, no. I hate it when you start a conversation this way. Go ahead. Start the interrogation. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to talk. Okay. Just get on with it. Either way. I heard that there was a party at the neighbor's house last weekend. Rumor has it that alcohol was being served to minors. I don't even know what party you're talking about. I think you're lying. I just can't prove it yet. All right. I believe you. We... Is that all? Jeez. I thought it was something important you were going to ask me. Behave yourself. Later, she's, Mom. She's a crazy one. Like, I'm, I'm even a little, like, feeling a little cringy since I'm the one clicking all the buttons. <laughs> but I only do it for the sake of the game. Because the more horrible it is, the better. We all know it. Anyone outside? Like, what's going out on the- like, what's going around on the town today? No one's ever doing anything. Except Lynette making me break into people's houses. Alright. Alright, I guess we, we have to watch TV. We probably have to complete these. So let's watch TV. All the news that matters. that matters. Your quiet neighborhood may not be as peaceful as you think. A new study has shown a sharp increase in juvenile perpetrators of violent and drug-related crimes, especially in suburban areas. When asked about this increase in crime, researchers responded, and I quote, We believe this is the result of the dissolution of the American family. Kids don't feel comfortable talking to their parents, so they turn to other more questionable forms of guidance, such as their peers, the internet, or video games. Even worse, this could be happening under your very nose. The group verified their data with the Fairview Police Department, who agree. Rising criminal activity rates indicate local youths... He has absolutely no idea what he's in for. What? Yeah, sooner or later he'll be friggin' addicted, just like all the others. What is going on? Criminal teenage youths? My son saying crazy things? No one was around to see me, so I had more than enough time to line up my shot before I blew him away. <gasps> that moron should have known better than to mess with us. He had it coming. Next time, we're going to kill every last one of them. What? That son of yours, ask Bree, ask Edie, ask Gabrielle, ask Lynette, ask Susan. Do we really want to like spread our business like this? Our hey, son Mom, is, like, killing did you want to talk to me? Um, uh, <laughs> hey, we, wait, this is just Am a little... I in trouble? No, Your we already did son. this conversation. Yeah, All right, let's ask Bree, I guess. You know what? We're going to ask Lynette. She owes us. She's got crazy ass kids, too, so... I don't know. I feel, I feel less judged. Although I am wearing this outfit, so uh, probably gonna be judged pretty, uh, pretty harshly, anyways. Yeah. God, slut shamers. <laughs> I just saw this uh, mailbox open. There's no one there though. All right, where? Lynette lives in this one. Go. Speed this up. Really, was that necessary? <laughs> All right. Hey, how are you? Lynette, I have a question for you. What do you do when you have a, sus uh, a suspicions about one of your kids' behaviors? Why do you ask? Girl. I've been having problems with my son, and I was hoping you could help me. A few things have been troubling me, is really? all. Really? 
He seems like such a nice boy. <laughs> Smart, respectful, and sweet. God, I wish he was my son. Yeah, he's a good kid, but these days, you never know. Is that the help you gave us? God damn it, Lynette. I freaking broke into someone's house for you. That's her advice? Oh, he's so nice. Oh, God. Just hurry. Hurry across the street before he sees us. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, ask Edie, what? Why would I ever ask Edie? Of all people! No. Hello, neighbor. <sighs> Hello, Bree. <laughs> that face! Are you alright? I'm horrible. No, um, actually, there's been something on my mind. Oh? Tell me what's wrong. Um, oh my god. I feel like we might have gotten in with the wrong crowd. I heard my son... Why would you tell any of your neighbors this? Do we at least know them a little better now? Because we only did one episode, and I feel like I don't know them enough now. But he seems like such a nice boy. Well, it seems like no matter how far you get away from the big city... You just can't get away from certain elements. There was a report last night on the news about some teenage gang in Fairview. I was shocked. Oh, shit. So? What are you going to do? That's the thing we couldn't hear, like, it, because the audio was messed up. It... I don't know, you guys. Hopefully I can make it louder in post-recording. I couldn't hear it, though. Well, I was asking around to see if anyone had any advice on how to deal with the situation. Please don't take this the wrong way, but... Since neither of my children would ever be capable of anything even remotely, perhaps you should ask around. Sorry, I Who skipped knows? it. Maybe one of the neighbors knows something about whatever is going on with your son. A lot of help you are. Fuck you. Your shitty ass children. Alright, let's... Let's ask Edie. Oh my god. Who knows? Maybe Edie will be... Oh my god, why did I click over here and it gave me the mailman? It's probably at Edie's house, screwing her now. But where's she? Oh my god, he's there. Alright, I think that's her house, yeah. Only house that way. Do I really have to walk around? Can I just... Where are you going? Are you kidding me? Did I click over here? Because I definitely did not. That was weird. Knock. Jeez. Whoa, what's going on here? Hey, what's shaking? Um, can I ask you a question? Sure, but why would you ask me about your son? I mean, he's a cute kid, but I don't think he's ready for me just yet. <laughs> God. Well, what I meant was... From what I've heard, you have a history of dating men already in relationships, so I think my boy's in the clear. Oh, shit. It's just that I think my son may have gotten involved with a bad crowd, and since you know the neighbor so well, I thought you'd be able to help me sort this out. Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm just worried about him. I've been asking around just in case anyone saw him involved in anything suspicious. Well, I guess I should be flattered. Usually when someone wants to talk to me about their son, they're not asking for my help. If you know what I mean. What happened to make you think that something is up? He's been cagey. Just one thing in particular, but I'd rather not talk about it. Well, if you want my expert advice, I think you're being an hysterical mother. He's a normal teenage boy. Hormones raging and all. I wish I could yes. help you more. Um, don't worry about it. You know, if you really want to get the lowdown on a man, regardless of his age, just do what I do. What do you do? Ask his wife or girlfriend. Oh, I'm assuming the latter in his case. All right. Talking to his friend. See. Oh, jeez. All right. She lives here. Edie's not bad. We just have to get to know her. I feel like we could just be uber bitches together like and, and that would be all right and we just screw with the neighborhood <laughs> that uh those chairs look broken all right 
Oh god. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> You're dating someone and their mother is dressed like that. Oh my god, that would be the worst. I have something I need to ask you. Actually, it's about we. I overheard him talking on the phone to someone. It sounded like he was planning something, something violent. Let me guess. He was talking about some guy he knew being addicted and talking about wasting people. Well, yes. And waging war or something stupid like that too, right? So you know what I'm talking about and it doesn't bother you? Ugh, it makes me sick. But there are people at our school that do worse things with their spare time. So it's like whatever. You know what? I can't talk about this anymore. It's all that Fox guy's fault anyways. Fox guy? Which one? The really weird one. I have to talk to him then, I guess. Thanks, Allison. Oh my god, now we have to talk to the foxes? Jeez. My goodness. Alright, let's go. Hopefully she makes it there in one piece. Doesn't end up walking somewhere completely different. Well, hello there. Hey. Um, I need to talk to him. Okay. Yeah, where's your brother? I'm doing well. Frank is actually out of town right now. Oh, is he? Yes, it's perfect timing, too. Frank did something that fried part of the circuitry for the house. Our home security system is completely out of commission. Hmm. Wow, so just about anyone could break in and take what they want then, huh? Oh my god. Well, let's just hope nothing like that occurs. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> oh, well, this is a safe neighborhood. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. I certainly hope so. Why did Frank leave town? I'm not really sure. He had this old business partner in the city, but I haven't heard much about him lately. Well, Frank's a pretty private guy. I thought you two were close. Well, we talk a lot, but usually in short spurts. For instance, sometimes he starts blabbing about utter war or something like that. A lot of times, I just don't understand what he's talking about. Technical stuff and all that. All right, um, that's rather odd. He's my brother, and oh, if you shit. had a sibling, you'd understand. It's possible, but I'd like to think that I would have a closer relationship with my family. See you around, Daniel. I guess so. You're probably right. Maybe we can... Very well, then. Let's Goodbye. Shit. Bye. Seduce. Fuck it. Seduce. Seduce. Knock. <laughs> Get the hell back up. Not done with you yet. Hi. Great day, isn't it? Yes, it you is. You have a great attitude today. Bye. Thank you. I have a great attitude. Hey, what's going on? Not much. Say, how would you like to see a little more of me? <laughs> Literally only a little more. Because... Uh, would you say you'd like to get to know me a little better? I thought you'd like to see more of me. Of course I'd like to see more of you. That's not what I meant. I thought you might want to see me in my favorite outfit. My birthday suit. <laughs> I know you'd like to see me more, but would you like to see more of me? I think you misunderstood me, Daniel. I'm volunteering to give you a private fashion show. Very funny. Maybe I could model the men's designs for you. Or you could wear me instead. <laughs> Let's stop playing games, Daniel. You know you want me. This is the best part about the seduce thing is reading all the silly pickup lines. I know it would look good on you, Daniel. Me. If I wasn't gay and you weren't married, I might think you were serious. <laughs> I thought they made him in... Wait, I thought they were like... Wait, I thought the game changed them to be brothers. So I thought he wasn't actually gay. I mean, I thought he was gay. I mean, in the first episode, I was pretty sure they weren't actually brothers. Maybe they aren't actually brothers. I thought... I don't know. Someone left a comment that made me think that on the last video. I could hardly be more serious. You have the necessary equipment to do the job. That all That's all that matters. You'd be sure more of a man than my husband will ever be. I dress women for a living. Nothing personal, but the female goods just don't do it for me. And I have seen the best. What am I doing? I can't let you undress me, Daniel. I'm sorry. All right. Fine. Fine. Whatever. Kind of ridiculous. You will not sleep with skank K-pop? How dare you? Turn me down. 
all the neighbors are just begging for a chance at me to come to their door and seduce them. Everyone else. <laughs> Can you sleep with someone's husband while they're home? We'll have to try that. Wait, where are we? Okay, we are investigating in our own house. 